Doom at Your Service is one of the hottest currently airing K-dramas. The drama has also found massive appeal overseas, selling its right to 150 countries worldwide. The drama is led by the talented actor-singer So Ingok. He's gained many fans through his new drama, and many have been searching information about him. So we're here to introduce you to key So Ingok facts. Let's go! So Ingok is among the few Korean actors who couldn't serve their country. But his story is a bit more complicated than others. So Ingok actually enlisted into the military, but he was excused just four days after getting in. He was scheduled for a medical re-examination to determine whether he can serve at all or not after leaving. As a result, it was later announced that he's been exempt from the national service because he was giving a grade 5 in physical examination. The actor-singer has osteochondritis. Osteochondritis causes bones under the cartilage to disappear because of necrosis. This illness is commonly caused by injury to the ankles, such as sprains gained during exercise. The majority symptoms of this illness include swelling, pain, and it usually results in a sound that the joints make as someone goes up and down the stairs. The patient would also feel pain even when not moving much. About 70% of young men in their 10s to 30s suffer from the illness, including soccer players and baseball players as well. Sadly, this didn't go over well, with some backlash from the public resulting from it. Despite his health status, he had to endure backlash from netizens, who brought into question why he was exempt. Added to that, one media outlet claimed he knew of his condition, but refused to treat it before the enlistment, and this is how he managed to be exempt from the military. Military service is a very sensitive topic in South Korea, and because he was exempt, netizens' reactions to him became cold. Since then, So Ingok has denied that report and explained his side of the story and apologized to the public. He also ended up formally apologizing again during the Smile Has Left Your Eyes press conference. He bowed 90 degrees in apology for the controversy. So Ingok is a very private man and he's kept a low profile as he's risen to fame. However, he's been in a public relationship once. In December of 2017, So Ingok and Park Buram confirmed they were dating. They had been dating since 2016. The former couple later announced their breakup in 2018. Aside from that, the actor has never been in any other public relationship. The topic of So Ingok's wife often does come up every now and then, mainly because the actor is in his mid 30s and many newer fans assume he's married, but the actor is not married and does not have a wife. As for So Ingok's ideal type, in a past interview, the actor said, I would prefer an intelligent woman over a pretty one as my ideal type. And regarding fans who question whether So Ingok is currently dating, the actor himself has given an answer to that question recently. During a press conference for his upcoming movie Pipeline, the actor said that he was single, but ready to be in a relationship when he finds a good person. So Ingok has been open about his past struggles, previously when he used to make guest appearances on variety shows. The actor had openly admitted to battling bulimia and the reason will break your heart. So Ingok used to be on the heavier side. The actor originally began his career as a singer and during auditions he was often told to lose weight. In a previous interview, he opened about his eating disorder. As a result of the harsh industry standards and his failed auditions, he became obsessed with the idea of losing weight and would vomit everything he ate. This in turn damaged his vocal cords. When he lost weight, he went back again to the agency that rejected him but was rejected again. In 2009, the actor ended up auditioning for Superstar K and was crowned the winner, beating over 700,000 competitors. This helped him regain his confidence. He also learned to eat healthier after that. In a recent interview, the actor also said he was around 73 kilograms, which is also 161 pounds, for Pipeline. He dropped to about 68 kilograms, which is about 150 pounds, while preparing to film for Doom at your service. Past photos of So Ingook have often stirred many discussions, and many have argued that he's gotten surgery, such as getting work done on his eyes and a nose job. Photos of So Ingook before and after are often brought up when discussing major Korean celebrity transformations. However, the actor himself has never publicly confirmed those rumors. The jury remains out on whether So Ingook did get plastic surgery or not because he transformed right before our eyes and has lost a considerable amount of weight after winning Superstar K. 
Some attribute his more refined facial features to his weight loss, while others remain convinced he's gotten plastic surgery. Imagine finding out about your birth secret on national TV. This is exactly what happened to So Ingok and it was a very hilarious situation. In a past broadcast, So Ingok and his mother appeared on the KBS show Mamma Mia. His mother went into details about his birth, shocking everyone in the studio including her son. She revealed that not only is she 7 years older than his father, but that So Ingok was conceived prior to their marriage. His mother was pregnant with him not long after she'd initially met his father. So Ingook and Park Bo Young have been the topic of discussion among the K-drama community since Doom at Your Service aired its first episode. They have topped the top most buzzworthy drama and actors list, and many fans believe their chemistry is off the charts, and they're already being labeled one of the best K-drama couples ever. In multiple interviews, So Ingook talked about Park Bo Young and how he felt working with her. He said, I think she's an amazing actor. Her attitude on set, her expressions of her character, her quick understanding of the director's instructions, and her refreshing bright energy were all great to see. Interestingly, the two actors had actually known they'd eventually work together one day. During the press conference for Doom at Your Service, Park Bo Young said she knew that she would eventually meet him one day when she learned he's been confirmed for the drama. Park Bo Young also called So In Gook a charming actor. So In Gook had previously made a cameo in Park Bo Young's drama and noted that despite being short, she has a big presence and he knew they'd eventually link with each other again. So this is it for today's video. What do you guys think of So In Gook? Did any of these facts shock you? Don't forget to like and subscribe so this video can reach even more people. And we'll see you next time.